I feel that breakfast is often overlooked when it comes to meal prepping, and I love to meal prep my breakfast. These baked oatmeals are my favorites to make. They only take a few minutes to toss together, and it gives you extra time in your mornings. Here's how I make the lemon blueberry baked oatmeal. Take three cups or 450 grams of frozen blueberries and mix in one teaspoon or four grams of Splenda. Now you can also use real sugar, but you'll have to add a bit more because it's not as sweet as the Splenda is. Allow those to macerate together while you prepare your other ingredients. In a large bowl, mix together all of your dry ingredients, starting with three cups or 240 grams of old-fashioned rolled oats. Then add two scoops or 60 grams of vanilla whey protein powder and one teaspoon or four grams of baking powder. I've never tested this recipe with anything other than whey, but I don't have any reason to believe a different kind of protein wouldn't work in this recipe as long as it was vanilla flavored. Once combined, add 10 tablespoons or 150 grams of liquid egg whites, or alternatively, you can use three whole eggs. Next, add in two cups or 480 grams of milk. You can use any kind of milk here, it's just for liquid, so if you need to add almond milk or oat milk instead of dairy, that works too. Then add three tablespoons or 45 grams of lemon juice and two tablespoons or 42 grams of maple syrup. The last of the wet ingredients is one tablespoon or 14 grams of melted butter. Then you can stir everything together to combine to make sure it's evenly incorporated. Another quick note on the egg whites, I use the stuff that's out of the carton, that way I don't have to pull the yolks out of the eggs, it just makes things faster and easier. Once you've got your wet and your dry ingredients evenly mixed together, you can add in those frozen berries that have been macerating and the sugar. Once all the berries have been added, make sure to scrape the bowl clean to get all the juices from the bowl. These juices are syrup-like after soaking with the sugar, and they'll add lots of sweet flavor to the batter. Give the bowl one last big mix to make sure that we've incorporated all those berries into the batter, and then it'll be ready to transfer over into a large pan to bake in the oven. At some point prior to baking, we must prepare our cream cheese topping, so add 4 ounces or 113 grams of cream cheese to a bowl. I use the regular stuff, if you wanted something lighter, you could choose the 1 3rd fat cream cheese or even fat free cream cheese. To that bowl, add 2 tablespoons of sugar or 1 tablespoon of Splenda if you want the calorie free version, that's 20 grams or 10 grams respectively. Spray a 13 by 9 inch baking pan with oil, no need to be conservative here, we want the least amount of stickage as possible so make sure you coat all of those surfaces. Then add in your oat mixture and spread it evenly into the baking pan. If you find your berries are clumped up in one spot, try to distribute them evenly throughout the pan so that you have enough in every bite. Next you're going to add your cream cheese mixture over the top. If this is warm it's going to be easier to swirl so maybe putting it in the microwave for a few seconds before you do this will help. I like to first distribute spoonfuls of that cream cheese mixture across the pan and then using the back of my spoon I can spread it out to reach all of the corners. You can get as fancy as you want with this. I've seen some people make some pretty cool designs in the cream cheese. I don't really care. I just spread it out with my spoon. We're going to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 to 40 minutes or until it has set in the center. While it is baking in the oven, you can take one of those lemons you juiced earlier and try to get some of the lemon zest off the outside of it. I'm going to use one to two tablespoons or about five grams of lemon zest just to give this a stronger lemon flavor. In addition, the zest on top adds a bit of garnish to make it look a little bit nicer. This pan makes six servings, so you can cut the oatmeal bake into six slices, divide it up into your containers, and store it in the fridge once it has completely cooled. These baked oatmeals are so quick and easy to make, it's almost rude not to make them week over week. And if you ended up liking this version and want to try something else, I have plenty of other variations of the baked oatmeals on my website. The most popular one is a strawberries and cream baked oatmeal. I also have a carrot cake baked oatmeal, chocolate chip banana bread baked oatmeal, peanut butter chocolate chip baked oatmeal. The opportunities are endless. In this particular one, there's 366 calories per slice and about 20 grams of protein. You can find the full written recipe for this lemon blueberry baked oatmeal in the description of this video below. And if you want to check out some of those other variations, you can find them on my website, mealprepmanual.com. See you again next week.